Hi, I'm Alessandro Cava, and this is The Stock Table. Today, I will be talking about Twilio, a company that has gone up nearly 300% in the last year. They are a cloud-based communications company that is revolutionizing nearly every industry that deem themselves their clientele. Although many do not know their name, it is very likely that you have come into contact with their product. Their client list includes blue-chip names like Uber, Netflix, Dell, Lyft, Twitter, Hulu, Coca-Cola, and many more. What they do for these companies can vary. They do everything from allowing the ride hailer to converse with the driver within the app to confirming user accounts with a quick text from the company. Their entire idea is based on the simplifying of the user experience by basing the usage of everyday apps into a platform that we use. They want to simplify communications by creating a platform that is so the needed conversation between the company software developers and the consumer can be simple and fast. This company maximizes revenue through the use of a unique business model. If someone contacts Twilio and requests a communication service for their application or website, Twilio sends a team over and builds a platform perfectly tailored to that distinct company based on other designs in the cloud. They charge based on usage, so as a company grows, their revenue also grows. This puts them in a prime position for both startups and large multinational corporations. In addition to revenue growth due to this business model, this company has also seen an increase in customer growth from 48,000 in 2017 to 65,000 in 2018. Quite a jump. This stock has moved so fast because they're the only ones in their industry. They virtually have no direct competitors, which is a great thing, but can become dangerous. Twilio is not profitable yet, so the fact that they are trading at such a high stock price with no fundamentals backing it up can expose them to extreme levels of volatility. This stock is doing very well because it is trading on market competitiveness and growth outlook. While they have increased revenue greatly, they still are not profitable. In the company's most recent earnings report for the quarter ending December 2018, they reported revenue of $200 million and a net loss of $47 million, compared to the previous quarter revenue of $168 million and a net loss of $27 million. This net profit loss increase was based on an increase in research and development expenses as well as an increase in general and administrative expenses. According to Twilio, the increase in general administrative if expenses is due to an increased number of employees because of a growing customer base. They also have stated that this number will continue to grow as the company continues to expand. This company looks to have a lot of growth potential and while they are prone to more short-term market risk because of rocky fundamentals, this company looks to continue to grow at a very fast rate over the coming years. For these reasons, I'm rating Twilio a buy Make sure to keep an eye on the stock price, and if the market carries this price below its support range of $115 a share, which is unlikely but nonetheless could happen in these volatile times, be ready to sell. But for now, stay bullish. Make sure to pay attention to my Twitter, and have a great day.